Hello and a very warm welcome and in today's video we're going to talk McLaren, a team that have looked promising going into the new rule changes and now arguably could be one of the worst teams. Um, yeah, have to say I was absolutely shocked with the team's performance in Bahrain. It was just mind-boggling really it was so bad it was poor um yeah it, it almost was like a bad dream yeah coming into these new rule changes we had high hopes as mclaren fans now they had a fantastic barcelona but bahrain like barcelona was good and then we had all the issues ricardo got covid then there was all these issues with the brakes. So going into the first race, there was a bit of unknown. Ricardo had no time in the car. Norris was doing all the testing. They had brake issues. And then we get into the weekend. And again, it didn't exactly go smoothly. Daniel Ricardo had water leak issues. Um, yeah, Ricardo qualified 18th. Norris... 13th and then halfway through the race McLaren were getting lapped they were very slow and they finished 14th and 15th it was a disaster but yeah coming into the new rule changes I genuinely thought McLaren would be up there with the likes of Red Bull Mercedes Ferrari now McLaren it doesn't get any worse than the Honda engine regime but the, this team has made so much progress. Now to go backwards would be criminal really. And, and unjust to all that hard work that has been done. Slowly progressing. Like they were literally last. They've gone up to, you know, fifth, third, fourth. And now if you're going to be all the way down there every weekend. It's like, that, like it just can't happen. People have worked too hard to get McLaren to where they are. McLaren has to start winning races again. It's simple. Ferrari win. They get a 1-2. That's what McLaren have got to aspire to do again. Um, yeah. I've got no doubt in, under the leadership of Seidel and Brown, that they will take McLaren back to winning ways. But... It's hugely worrying after the first race. Now we know Mercedes engines are low on power. The works team in Mercedes and then the three last teams all had Mercedes engines. So McLaren, Aston, Williams. Yeah, very, it was embarrassing. It really was embarrassing. Watching that as a McLaren fan, it was painful. But we know They'll keep fighting. They'll improve. There's no point giving up. It's the first round. But if that's going to happen... Now, was it track dependent at Bahrain? Or is that going to happen every race? Hey. Yeah. I just hope it was a one-off and McLaren can find improvements, gains. Hopefully, Saudi Arabia will be better. Yeah. I mean, they've made so much progress to then be fighting at the back, getting lapped. It was, it really was humiliation. No one at McLaren wants to see that week in, week out again. Um, yeah, they've got a good driver pairing, but yeah, I mean, you're coming into new rule changes, new regs. Uh, you're excited. I honestly thought McLaren maybe be outsiders um they'd definitely be up there i thought they'd be fourth at worst but judging by the first race mclaren are in huge trouble they don't look reliable and they look slow so yeah they've got a lot of issues a lot of little niggles and the body language now usually the body language in mclaren is very good the body language is shocking coming out of the team. 
And that just proves there's big issues at the team. And I've got to say, something that really triggered me hard um, on Sunday was Ricardo and Norris. Like, it's a bit like football when your team loses and these players come out doing interviews and they're smiling. Like Lando Norris and Ricardo coming out, smiling after the humiliation that was Sunday. I mean, what you, we know that's their personality, but what are you smiling for? Like, what are you smiling for? Halfway through the race and you were a lap down. You finished nowhere, like, so far off the lead. Finishing 14th and 15th with new rule changes. What? Why are you smiling in your interviews? I don't get that. But, yeah, we will always support this team through the good times and bad times. I just hope Bahrain was a one-off and McLaren can find some performance because they need to do so Sunday was unacceptable but yeah I still believe in this team yeah fully believe in Zach Brown and Seidel and Norris and Ricardo. give them the package and they'll deliver comment down below your thoughts on McLaren are they really in trouble are they really in trouble they were actually in fighting for last at Bahrain who would have thought that? 